Having cancer. You can tell just by walking. The following states when walking could indicate cancer or disease warnings. Recently, old Lou has been feeling something is not right. In the past, his morning walks in the park were a relaxing and enjoyable experience. But recently, for some unknown reason, he can barely take a few steps before becoming out of breath. His legs feel heavy, and sometimes his feet feel weak, almost causing him to fall. That inexplicable fatigue feels like a heavy stone weighing him down, making him walk slower and slower, and it stirs up a hint of worry in his heart. Could it really be that he's just getting old? Old Lou mutters to himself, but his intuition tells him the problem is more than that. This leads him to decide to visit the hospital, to chat with Dr. Lee. This time, he wants to find out if this fatigue is merely a natural phenomenon of aging, or if his body is hinting at something more serious. Old Lou rubs his legs and, with a hint of helplessness, says, Doctor, I get so tired after just two steps, and my legs feel heavy. What's going on? I heard that walking can reveal serious health problems. Is this true? Sitting across from him, Dr. Lee, wearing reading glasses, looks at old Lou's worried expression, smiling as he shakes his head and says, Old Lou, there's some truth to that. But don't worry too much. Let me explain to you the walking states that might indeed signal health issues. The state of your body while walking can reflect some of our health problems. For example, if you feel a noticeable weakness in your legs while walking, especially when going downhill and your legs feel weak, this could be a sign of a nervous system problem. This might not only be related to the nerves, but sometimes even linked to certain cancers, like prostate cancer with bone marrow changes. Dr. Lee paused, then continued. Additionally, if you experience leg pain while walking, especially in the inner thighs or pelvic area. This could also be a warning sign. Such pain, if it relates to bone issues, could be associated with bone tumors. Moreover, if you often feel sharp pain in your back or legs while walking, you need to pay extra attention, as this might be a symptom of spinal compression or sometimes even metastatic spinal tumors. Dr. Lee smiled and said, not all these abnormalities while walking are cancer, of course, but they're signals that we need to investigate further. For example, persistent leg pain while walking might indicate vascular issues, like deep vein thrombosis, especially when you notice not just pain in your legs, but also swelling and warmth. This condition should never be underestimated. Old Lou nodded, his expression tinged with concern. Dr. Lee continued to explain, if you feel heavy while walking, as if your feet are like lead. This might be a sign of peripheral neuropathy, sometimes related to chronic diseases like diabetes. If you experience sharp pain in your legs or back while walking, it might be related to spinal diseases. Tip 1. Maintain good sitting posture. Avoid prolonged sitting. And keep your back straight, standing up regularly to move around. Tip 2. Engage in appropriate exercises for your back muscles, like stretching or light strength training, which helps maintain spinal health. We need to perform some basic tests, like blood tests and imaging examinations, to help us understand the cause of these problems. In daily life, appropriate exercise and maintaining proper walking posture are very important. Do not underestimate walking. It is one of the simplest and most effective forms of exercise. At the same time, a balanced diet is also necessary. With adequate intake of essential vitamins and minerals, Dr. Lee's words gave old Lou a little reassurance. He realized that it wasn't just about paying attention to these symptoms, but also about improving his lifestyle. So, under Dr. Lee's guidance, old Lou began a series of checkups and lifestyle adjustments. These small changes could be key to preventing disease progression. After undergoing a series of tests, old Lou returned to Dr. Lee's clinic to hear the results. Dr. Lee smiled as he took out the test report and said, Old Lou, your test results are out. Don't be nervous. Let's analyze them step by step. Old Lou nodded nervously, clearly concerned about the results. Dr. Lee explained, Your blood and imaging tests are basically normal, with no obvious signs of cancer detected. 
However, your blood sugar is a bit high, and you have mild fatty liver. If these issues aren't controlled, they could affect your health. Upon hearing there was no cancer, old Lou let out a slight sigh of relief. But he immediately asked, then what's with the heavy legs and fatigue while walking? Dr. Lee patiently explained that this issue is related to blood sugar and fatty liver. High blood sugar affects blood circulation, leading to insufficient blood supply to the legs, while fatty liver slows metabolism, causing recovery capacity to decline. Looking at old Lou, Dr. Lee earnestly explained, high blood sugar isn't just about elevated sugar levels. It directly affects the circulation of blood throughout the body. When blood sugar is high, the endothelial cells in the blood vessels get damaged, leading to restricted blood flow, especially to the leg muscles that are further away from the heart. This causes fatigue and a heavy feeling in the legs. That's why many diabetes patients experience walking difficulties or easy fatigue. High blood sugar can affect blood circulation, leading to insufficient blood supply to the legs, causing fatigue and heaviness. Thus, in daily life, you should do the following two things. Monitor your blood sugar regularly. It's advisable to check your fasting blood sugar levels regularly to ensure they remain within a safe range. Increase low-intensity exercise such as walking briskly for 20 to 30 minutes each day to help control blood sugar and improve circulation. Dr. Lee continued, moreover, the presence of fatty liver indicates that the liver's metabolic function is somewhat impaired. The liver is the metabolic center of the body, responsible for converting food into energy and regulating protein synthesis. When liver function decreases, the metabolic rate slows down and recovery capacity diminishes, resulting in decreased muscle strength, which causes heavy gait and slowed steps. Additionally, fatty liver may slow your metabolism, making recovery slower. Here's a point you might not have considered. Poor liver function can actually affect muscle function, as the liver is crucial for protein metabolism. If liver function is poor, the ability of muscles to repair and grow declines. Fatty liver can slow metabolism, resulting in slower recovery and a heavy gait. Thus, in daily life, you should do the following two things. Adjust your eating habits, reducing the intake of high-fat and high-sugar foods, and increase fiber-rich foods. Regularly check liver function. You can understand the condition of your liver through health checkups to detect abnormalities early. Dr. Lee continued, so what we need to do now is not just focus on your leg symptoms, but more importantly, improve your overall health from a holistic perspective. For example, adjust your eating habits reduce sugar and fat intake, and increase protein and fiber to help improve blood sugar and liver function. Dr. Lee seriously said, I recommend that you start doing some light aerobic exercises, such as brisk walking or swimming. These are very beneficial for the muscles of the legs and the cardiovascular system. Aerobic exercise can also help improve your blood circulation and cardiopulmonary function, which is good for controlling blood sugar and improving liver function. After hearing the doctor's analysis, old Lou gradually set aside his doubts. He also realized the importance of maintaining health. Old Lou took note of all the advice and decided to change his lifestyle, truly starting from daily details, to improve his health. He began to insist on walking every day. And slowly he found that the feeling of fatigue and heaviness while walking significantly decreased. He felt much more energetic. A few months later, old Lou returned to Dr. Lee's clinic, excitedly saying, Doctor, I feel much better. Walking is not only easier, but I feel so much lighter in my body. Dr. Lee nodded and smiled, saying, Indeed, even simple daily activities like walking, can help us understand our health status. More importantly, by adjusting our lifestyle, we are entirely capable of improving and maintaining our health. There's no need to wait until problems become serious to take action. Every little bit counts in laying the foundation for future health. Dr. Lee continued to remind him, abnormal gait can sometimes be an early sign of cancer, like bone cancer or spinal tumors. 
So, in daily life, you must do the following two things. Pay attention to changes in gait. If you experience long-term gait abnormalities, see a doctor promptly for a comprehensive examination. Regularly monitor health indicators. Early detection can lead to better treatment. Don't ignore even small symptoms. After old Lou returned home, he paid more attention to his health. He also realized that a little fatigue during walking isn't just an aging issue. It is a reminder to pay attention to daily health. Every small change can be a vital clue. To maintain health and improve well-being, daily life adjustments are essential. It is crucial to pay attention to various signals from the body, ensuring you stay healthy and happy. In life, small changes can lead to significant impacts. As long as we stay vigilant, take care of our health proactively, and build good habits, we can embrace a healthier and happier life. Let's remember, exercise is a simple yet effective way to maintain health. Be aware of the little changes in your body. They might be the key to uncovering bigger issues.